<laughs> and if I do. <laughs> That's it. All right. Sweet. So. All right, here we go. To Wikipedia. This is going to be bad. This is going to be awesome. Uh, uh, where's the button to make it random? I don't know if there's one it's on the main page. Column. Yeah, oh, it's right. in the column, so you need to go to a page. There you go. And there's Random be. article. All, All right. right. Here we go. <laughs> ha! Awesome! <laughs> All right. This is the article for... <laughs> this is the article for Boko River. Uh, the entirety of, is... Boko is a river in Portugal. It flows into Raya de Avenero. Hey! <laughs> How much they pay for that? Twenty dollars. <laughs> that seems unsporting. She can get another one for that. Also, this Portugal <laughs> location is a stub. You can help Wikipedia by expanding it. Don't forget to mention the categories. See, the problem is we don't want to tell people what article we're going to do, or else they'll go in and edit it and add a bunch of text to it. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy Wales is begging for your cash up there too. Right. Yeah, please read a personal. Bust Jimmy Wales. So I mean, we could do it. We could do another random article. Because that, I mean, that seems a little bit stingy, but the that's problem is, yeah. but, that, but that's not our fault. Like if we do, I mean, that's the whole thing about randomness. Yeah. Stubs don't count. Yeah, no. Really? Nobody said that. That was never part of the thing. It's not a stub, though. It's not. Yeah, exactly. No, it is a stub. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's well, a, this Portugal there's location. There's a stub underneath it. This Portugal location is a stub. So this is a stub article. Okay. Okay, just, let's do another. Let's do one more. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this. Ha! Also fairly short. And no, the stub. No, it is a stub. Oh, is it? Oh, no, no, damn it. All right, go again. All right, we won't even bother reading that one. No. Also, I can't pronounce it. Moksrika. Moksrika. All right, let's do this again. It is a village in Poland. All right, come on. Huh. A lot of stubs going on here. This skink... Oh, wait, this is about... This is the thing about skinks. <laughs> There right, we, we go. go. Hey, about the no, it's EOS 20D. Awesome. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, this isn't too... Okay, this is, this is totally workable. Okay, here we go. So I'll read out the first paragraph, and then we can just... So this Canon is about EOS the 20D? Canon EOS 20D. Okay. All right. See, okay, so whoever donated that money, you're getting your money's worth. Yeah. Because we waited... We, we couldn't... The first three articles we did were super short. Yeah. Here All right, go. here we go. What's the name on that? I want to search that. This is the Canon EOS 20D. <laughs> Canon EOS 20D? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly old Canon. All right. The Canon EOS 20D is an 8.2 megapixel semi-professional single lens, uh, single lens reflex camera initially announced in August 19th, 2004 at a recommended retail price of US $1,499. It is the successor to the Canon, Canon EOS 10D and was succeeded by the EOS 30D in August 2006. It accepts EF and EFS lenses and uses APS-C style image, style image sensor. There we go. Improvements. The 20D features a new sensor and more megapixels, 8.2 instead of 6.3, and retains the 1.6 crop factor. It supports USB 2.0. The 20D has a larger buffer and can shoot more frames per second. It also uses the ETTL2 flash metering system and uses the DIGIC2 image processor. The EOS 20D, with approximate or appropriate firmware updates, can also accept Canon wireless file transmitter WFT-E1-E1A for file transfers to a remote file server, either through an uh, Ethernet cable or a Wi-Fi network. Right. Uh, somebody else want to read features? Anybody else has it up? Or sure. wants to come up here? The 20D is the first Canon prosumer <laughs> camera to use the EFS lens mount. The first Canon EOS camera to use the mount was the third... 300D, the digital rebel in North America. Alright, uh, anybody else want to read the next section? Or part of the next section? What half of it. Yeah. yeah. Canon released the US 20DA on February 14, Make sure you 2000. Speak loud back there. Oh. The mic is here. The mic's right there. Alright. Canon released the EOS 20DA on February 14, 2005 in Japan. It is a variant of the 20D designed for astrophotography. On June 1st, 2005, Canon announced that the 20DA would be made available worldwide. The main difference between the 20DA and the 20D is are the replacement of the hot mirror infrared IR filter, which covers the CMOS sensor on the 20D in live view mode. In conventional photography, 
The IR filter is used to make the spectral response of the CMOS sensor more like that of a human eye. In this way, the pictures gathered by the sensor more closely resemble the world as we see it. In astrophotography, many objects of interest emit strongly in the red... Oh, I can't even remember this from physics. H... Alpha? H alpha line, yeah. which is heavily attenuated by the IR filter of the 20D. The IR filter of the 20D passes two and a half times more light at around 656 nanometer wavelength as the filter of the 20D, allowing, allowing fine detail to be revealed in long exposures of emission nebula. As a side effect, the color balance is slightly altered in normal daylight photography. Hey, anybody else want to go? Sure, I'll do it. Hey, Ken. Starting from here. The CBC rocks. All right. It is extremely difficult to focus an extremely dim image with a, with a reflex viewfinder. Locking the mirror up and opening the shutter, like view, was introduced in the 20DA to address this issue. When used, the camera provides a live image of the center of the field of view to allow focusing on a bright star. Like view for this application, Live view for this application requires a lens which supports fully mechanical focus in manual mode and is not suitable for normal daytime use. Reviews report that image noise in the 20DA is lower than in the 20D. Should I do the last uh, one? Sure, just do the last one. The EOS 20DA was discontinued when the 30D was introduced in 2006. Canon has produced no similar model for astrophotography since though many astrophotographers commonly make similar aftermarket modifications to later Canon models to fill the same role. <laughs> the latest firmware for the 20D, uh, oh. and, oh, sorry, okay. do you, anybody else want to go? No, go Someone's ready for it. Go she ahead. wants firmware. All right, go for it, go for it, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> the latest firmware available for the 20D, and believed to be the final update, is version 2.0. 0.3 made available August 23rd of 2005, which improved the communication reliability with some CF cards and other minor changes. And that's Ooh. it. Apparent? Did can you refresh that and see if anybody? Because there was mention of people editing. Did people it. deface it as we were reading it? That's <laughs> 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 uh, the no, I'm using it. it says this page was last modified November 2010. The that, 20th of November 2010. Yeah, that's oh. something did something. <laughs> what did you do? I don't see anything different. Wait, you can compare. Yeah. Let's see here. History. View history. Darth Sidious did something to it. <laughs> Darth Sidious. Oh, wait, Sidious. a bunch of people did it on November. Reverting possible vandalism. <laughs> reverting, oh, everybody... They, every, all their re edits got reverted very quickly. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. They said troll the low for a bit. They have bots that are like insane on Wikipedia. Yeah, Wikipedia is crazy. I'm surprised they didn't just say this article was read for Desert Bus 4 on... Yeah. That would be Remember sort of that? a valid thing. That would be accurate. There's no way uh, of, of, like, referencing it, though. Unless we, we, we didn't record this. YouTube video. There we, we go. <laughs> Did there anybody record that? Because then we could put it up on YouTube. Or, no, we could just link to the Ustream. If anybody... Yeah, do that. If anybody recorded that on Ustream, edit the page... Oh, someone recorded it. ...to say... and Okay, so edit the page to link to that, and then put that in the references. Apparently I sounded like uh, Bob McDonald from Quirks and Quirks on the CDC. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah, it's I, all right. to all the I heard Brian, Brian Posehn, too, which is, which is also not too bad. Yeah, I, I could kind of hear that. Yeah, that was kind of a fun challenge, actually. We that was, that could that could have gone very badly. Oh, Boca River article was edited. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. All right, maybe that one has a little bit less. Just search it. You can't. Oh. B o c c a. Uh, B o k o. Oh. Or B o c o. Haha, <laughs> this river was referenced during Desert Bus for Hope, in which Paul Saunders was made to read a random article for $20. <laughs> which was well spent. So what's the name of the article? River. That won't last long. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we should probably stop defacing Wikipedia. Yeah, they, they really don't like it. Oh, enjoy.